want to create an image gallery and add it to your camera application, watch this tutorial. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials, my name's Nigel. In this tutorial series, we're going to be creating an image gallery using the Recycle View. A prerequisite for this tutorial is the Camera Intent tutorial series. Basically, we're going to be basing this project on that project's source code and build environment. So if you're brand new to Android, I highly recommend you to do that tutorial series first prior to this one. Or else, if you've used Android before and you're familiar with the basics, but you want to learn about the Recycler view, by all means follow this tutorial. And I'm going to provide you with an easy method of getting the project source code. We're going to be using Git. And for those of you who don't know what Git is, it's a version control system. Basically, it's there to manage your source code for logging and recording all the changes you make to your source code. It's also a very powerful tool for sharing your source code, which is what we're going to do. It can also do lots of other things, but I'm not going to get into that. So let's get started. Okay. I've got my browser open to my Git repository, it's in GitHub, and it's called the camera intent here. And all you need to do is basically, I will put the location of the site in the description below, but all you need to do is just copy and paste this URL start up Android Studio and check out project from version control that's what Git is, version control and we're going to use Git here and I'm just going to paste in the first line that's the URL of my repo the next line below is the parent directory where that's where all the projects go here and the directory name just to give a bit of context I'm going to call it gallery Recycler view. So it's a gallery using recycle views. And that's it. Now we just select clone. I want to open this project, yes. I'll just ignore that. So while we're waiting, it's now doing what it should normally do is importing any other project from other alternative means. That's done there. Now let's open it up. See if the code's there. I'll just jump straight into the source code. See how I re recognize it. It looks okay. Now the final test is we want to run it on our device. So let's try that. Okay, let me just record that so we can double prove that everything's working from our cloned repo. So let's record that screen. We're now recording. As you can see, the camera has now started. Uh, let's take a photo of our Japanese door. Now we have our photo of a Japanese door that was successful. I am now happy that the applications worked and the clone was successful. Now save the video. So that's it to part one. It was just getting your environment set up. And for those of you who have never used Git before, hopefully it was an okay introduction to using Git. So again, if you like these tutorials, don't forget to subscribe. 
and this is just part one we've got a few more parts to go before we actually complete the video gallery because we actually haven't started yet that's all for this one bye for now on the application application started up let's take a photo of our cup of coffee this time ran out of green tea the image has been taken that's fine we, we knew that worked before from the previous application but we want to check to see if that folder was created and the images inside the folder so I'm going to use another application called ES File Explorer. Now I know it's been created in pictures. Oh. And inside here we have image gallery. Got two of them actually. This is from my other application. So and if we click on that, view in there we have the cup of green tea. So the main thing we wanted to test was if the image gallery folder was being created and, and it is. So we've now validated that that code works. 